Hello, beautiful people. Welcome back again to my YouTube channel. Thank you very much for your love and support as always. I'm so grateful. If to those the first time you are coming across this channel and you are seeing my face for the first time, this is Agatha Progress channel and I come across your way every blessed day. In this channel, we bring the best of news to your doorpost through this channel. And in this channel, correction is highly needed. Thank you very much once again for always tuning in. I am so grateful. Now, here is the video of the day. I don't really know how you felt about this video, but your opinion is highly needed in the comment section. Now, let's go and watch the video together and read about for eternity because we are about to do something that will shock humanity pay attention this very morning wherever you are I am going to start today's program by reading a headline from the zoo newspapers you know what I can do zone 9 new AIG warns hoodlums terrorizing southeast his name is Etim Ene Okon. He's a Biafran man, but he was raised by the Fulani. This is the man that is responsible for the death of my father and my mother. This is the man that is responsible for the death of 28 young Biafrans in my house on 14th of September of 2017. This is the man that OKZ Bazo and the zoo police have brought back to kidnap, to terrorize, and to kill our people. Therefore, I'm going to come to Anambra in a short while. Therefore, those of us in Abia State must be very, very careful. Very, very careful because I have a series of announcements to make. This very man, we are going to find him. And I'm announcing it because I think that my appearance at The Hague is long overdue. It is way, way, way long overdue because before I do anything in life, if Britain respects me for one thing, is because anything I'm going to do, I warn you in advance before I do it. So when I do it, you know it's me. I have no need to hide because I'm not a terrorist. I have no need to hide what I'm doing. This very man, we are going to find him as an example with him. His name is Etim Ene Okon. I want his pictures everywhere. The picture of his wife, his extended family, his children. We are going to hunt them down, all of them. We are going to set an example with this idiot that the world may understand how angry we are. This idiot is responsible because they allowed him to get away scot free. That is why he can come to mouth rubbish on the piece of Mr. Pass. We want to let these idiots know that they too they bleed and they will die. His name is Etim Ene Okon. He is the AIG of police in Zone 9. We'll find him. We'll find his family. I swear to God Almighty in heaven, that Hague, I want to go there and give evidence. I think the time has come. We are going to find him. Wherever we see him, he's going to die. This is the man that killed my parents. This was the idiot that instigated the raid on my house on September the 14th. They have brought him back. He went on to ghost. I am letting all our men on the ground understand this very, very carefully. The time for us to die has come. To die for what we believe in, that posterity may remember us. This very man went on to say, they know we will strategically confront hoodlums. We will go back to those days when Abia was hell for criminals. When he came to my house to kill me. This man is still alive, and that is why he's still talking. Now we shall take the war to him in Abia State. Since that is what they want, we shall give it to them. This man said he is going to expand his strategies that he used in abduction and in killings, extrajudicially, of course, to all the states that comes under his control. He's a Biafran. We must treat him the way that traitors are treated right all over the world. Since the inception of the history of man, anywhere you have traitors, you don't allow them to survive. They cannot survive. I am warning him in advance. That is what I do. They say, some people come to me, don't say what you're going to say. Get, out of, get away from my face, you're an idiot. You don't tell me what to do. I want this same Ocon to understand that he has war on his hands. Since that is what he wants, we are going to give it to him. Unless he is removed from his position within 14 days, arrested and prosecuted for mass slaughter in my house on the 14th of September 2017. That is Fabia State. And I include Okezi Bazu in it. 
Okay, so if, as if you do not remove the CD, if this fool, if one single soul is abducted from Abia State by this criminal, believe you me, hell and brimstone will rain down inside of my I can assure you of that. And I'm sure some of you know what we can do. I'm sure you understand that by now. I am this very man we are going to find him, not just him and his family. We will find his children wherever they are in the world. It's an assignment to the whole IPOB family all over the world. Find this man, his wife, and his children. Find them wherever they are. I take up one more thing. I want to let this man understand that we are insane. I was an example with this idiot. Yeke is no longer sleeping in government house. He's running from one barracks. I will find him as well. This idiot. All of you fools. All of you idiots from the east that the fallen are using. You idiots that cannot reason. You fools that cannot reason. Ikune Jugo. All of you, including your so-called stupid governors. Ikune Jugo. Is this is an happy state. I am going to move to Anambra in a minute. Anytime people come to our land, they kill us and we allow them to go scot-free. It encourages other people to do the same. That is the way the full is operate. Anytime one governor kills and you allow that governor to continue to kill our people, it emboldens the rest to start to kill our people as well. We must take the war to them. We must take the war to these people. Wherever they are still in the public, we stun them. Anywhere we find them, we will go to jail. We will die. The dead will die. And their families. Because they don't understand civility. They don't understand petition. They don't understand civil protest. They are not human beings. We must unleash our madness, not tomorrow, but now on all these people that are making our lives hell. The police and the army, they go about kidnapping and killing people. Nobody says anything. That is why I despise the brain of a black man, always gravitating towards evil. This man came to my hand killed in 2017 and went scot-free. That is why the bastard can come back and be mouthing all this rubbish. We must find him and his family. Whatever they are hiding in the world, we must find them. I want all the major papers in the world to report what happened to Ogun. I want them to report it. That they understand that vengeance belongs to God and to God alone. This idiot that is responsible for the death of my parents and 28 of our young men on the 14th of September 2017 must be found. Anywhere you see him in public, you attack him. Let that happen to prevail. We are going to teach them a lesson that history will recall over and over and over again. This very period that we are living through, this very period of IPOB, this time in our life will be recalled in history forever and ever. When people without nothing anchoring the hope of their survival on the Lord God Almighty, the creator of the heavens and the earth. And he heard their prayers and he delivered them. The same way we read in the Bible today, the story, the very beautiful story of the wonderful state of Israel. So shall Biafra be written and read about for eternity. Because we are about to do something that will shock humanity. Pay attention this very morning, wherever you are. I am going to start today's program by reading a headline from the zoo newspapers. You know what I can do? Zone 9 New AIG warns hoodlums terrorizing Southeast. His name is Etim Ene Okon. He's a Biafran man, but he was raised by the Fulani. This is the man that is responsible for the death of my father and my mother. This is the man that is responsible for the death of 28 young Biafran in my house on 14th of September of 2017. 
This is the man that Okezi Bazo and the zoo police have brought back to kidnap, to terrorize, and to kill our people. Therefore, I'm going to come to Anambra in a short while. Therefore, those of us in Abia State must be very, very careful. Very, very careful because I have a series of announcements to make. This very man, we are going to find him. And I'm announcing it because I think that my appearance at The Hague is long overdue. It is way, way, way long overdue because before I do anything in life, if Britain respects me for one thing, is because anything I'm going to do, I warn you in advance before I do it. So when I do it, you know it's me. I have no need to hide because I'm not a terrorist. I have no need to hide what I'm doing. This very man, we are going to find him as an example with him. His name is Etim Ene, fathered by Fulani Janjaweed uh, after the war. Uh, because only somebody with, with Fulani blood in their system will reason the way some of you reason in the past. But I'm very glad that you have all repented now. Yeah, sometimes I disagree. It's not that I love you and I support you, but I disagree with some of your philosophy. But recently, believe me, I, I got more mad. You know, I got more and more mad. I said, I said, the, uh, in Kaduna, they are killing people, they are kidnapping people, and you are sending people in the East that is safe. Then what are you tell, what message are you passing to us? Exactly. I'm very glad that some of you have now woken up. I'm very, very glad. What message are you passing to us? You, are, you said we should not agitate for Biafra, but you cannot stop the terrorism in your place. Exactly. Simple question. You want, you, want, you want us to suffer the same thing you are suffering. We don't have the same ideology with you. We don't have the same religion with you. We don't have the same mentality with you. We don't what speak language with you. you. What do we have in common you with have you? Not what thing? To Maybe you don't see that. You don't see that, don't you? Do you see that? Just click on that red subscribe button. And the that problem is this. You know, and I, I, like I always say in my life, I say, the hunger, you know, these politicians, they know that if they can keep these people in hunger. your take on this video? Not just just for freedom. We don't want to deal with you. You people are family that you, you are a curse upon now, any race that you mix with. You are a curse. Done more than this. I just pray that he just got justice for what he really desire. It is not an easy task. He has really passed through a lot and he has seen a lot. As far as this agitation for Biafra is concerned, he has sacrificed everything that he got. And I pray that the leader of Biafra, Mazina Dikanu, find rest, happiness, and joy in life again as he embarks on his journey. Bye-bye.